Welcome back aliens. I'm Navin Reddy from Thaisko Learnings and you know when you work with Java we have different uh, objects which is inbuilt in Java right example if I go to system class and now system class is Java class if you, if you remember uh, when we do system.out.println when we do system.in right so we do use some uh, some objects which is inbuilt which is one of the object is in right and then we have objects like out we have e e r r now all this are a Java uh, Java objects right example if you want to take input from user so normally in Java what we do is we say system dot n so we have we we do use scanner class and then we say system dot n right so this is how you use uh, th this is your in keyword right now the thing is if we talk about this in 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 Java this is an object right or reference to an object but the problem is in Kotlin if you remember we do have a in keyword right that's the issue uh, example let's say if I create a function and if I name this function as in can we can I do that can I name a function as in in Kotlin and you can see there is an error it says function declaration must have a name expecting a function name oh that's a function name right what's the issue it is not able to de detect this as a function name example if I say function name as demo see nothing wrong with that it is it is accepting that demo name but the moment it comes to in that's the issue because in is a default keyword or it is a keyword in Kotlin. Now, where do we use in? We, we use in in for loop. If you remember, uh, we, in for loop, we do mention in keyword, right? Now, how do you escape this? You have to mention, hey, in is not a keyword here. I don't want to in. Uh, I don't want this in to be a, uh, as a keyword, which is there in Kotlin. So you can use a escape character. So for the escape character, we have to use, uh, you have to use something called as a back tick a back tech which is actually uh, this type of symbol now you will find this symbol uh, just below your escape uh, button okay where you have uh, so above your tab button and below your escape button you can check that on your keyboard now so you have to use a back tech on both the side okay before the keyword and after the keyword so if you want to escape this character we have to use a tick and a tick so this is a back tech now I can use this in here right and if you want to call that you can directly call that by using in and you can give a bracket but the problem is again you cannot use directly in so you have to use a back tick uh, not that one so back tick in and back tick so that's how you have to call it right now do we do we really use in keyword in in kotlin the thing is if you remember uh ja in kotlin also we can use java code right and let's say if you have a scenario where you want to write system.in you cannot do that right you cannot say system.in the moment you do that uh it will give you bad words it says expecting an element now what it means is uh, it is expecting an element and you are, it is, you are finding a, a keyword of Kotlin. Now again to escape that we have to use single tick. That's how you use it, single tick. So whenever you find that you are using some Kotlin keyword and that's not your intention, just use a back tick and it will solve your issue. Again this is not a big thing but and then you should know this thing right. So this is, there is something called back tick and if you see some documentation they will fi you will find a back tick there as well. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope it was, it was helpful. I know it was a short one, but then I wanted to explain about back tech only. So that's it from this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about how do you take input from user.